men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you You just started your first semester. Yep. So, <laughs> how is it going? Yeah, that's absolutely a great question. So my first semester, I've already had the academic side of college for a really long time because I've been taking courses at so many colleges and universities. Mm -hmm. But really, I'm really excited for the social aspect because I mean, I'm finally able to meet so many people who are just as excited about math and science as I am. And that was a big rarity in my high school. So I mean, I'm so excited to actually be able to discuss my dreams and aspirations with other people in a serious way. And not just that, but to have the full college experience. So, yeah, the full college experience. You're in college? That is amazing. How did you get into math? Yeah, uh, that's way too complicated of a story to fit in, into okay. even this entire segment. But uh, the simple version is that my dad uh, works at one of the best high schools in the country. Mm. Uh, especially, he teaches math and physics. Uh, it's known for its math and physics talent. That is an amazing yeah. photo. So he used to be doing this kind of like, every single time he was writing on the blackboard, it seemed like these magic symbols were just coming to the blackboard. And uh, even though I found out a, lot, a while later that this is just ninth and 10th grade f physics and mathematics, back then when I was two or three years old, I thought, how can I become like this Harry Potter that's right inside my home? At two or three years old? Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, uh, I just asked him, oh, what's driving you to do this? What is all this anyway? What are you doing on the blackboard that's so special? And, and why do you put so much passion and resources into it? And he introduced me to the world of math and science. He helped me read through all of his textbooks. And eventually, by the time I was seven years old, I found myself lecturing around the world on the same topics that I just couldn't understand a few years earlier. That is amazing. A few years earlier. What are your goals with your studies? Yeah, so I've got a lot of goals as well, but mainly my first goal is to finish my BS in math with a minor in physics by 2026, get a PhD by 2028, and become the world's youngest professor at 17 or 18 in 2029. You're just an outstanding young man, and you're so inspirational. We want you to have a great first semester. You already sound like you're on the road, but we, had a little, we got a little gift for you. As a little surprise to inspire you to keep... <laughs> Keep going the way you keep us going. Oh my God, we wish you luck with your studies. Thank you so much for being here. This is all for you. So you can walk on the campus with your backpack. You see that? You like it? Oh, I love that you like it. You see oh that? Oh my God. Uh-oh, he's good and ready for school, guys. You're a girl.